Hey y'all. So I wanted to talk to you about what happened today. Can you see my ear? See my lovely ear? So I had tumors in my ear. My body likes to make tumors. It's like a, it, it thinks it's a tumor factory. So I have had tumor in my spine which my doctor said I had my whole life. He does believe I had it my whole life. And then I had to have that removed. And tumors in my uterus, tons and tons and tons of fibroids, which are benign tumors. And, um, you know, they've always been in my ears also. So I don't know. And here's an interesting concept that, Probably nobody thinks about. And I'm just throwing this out there. Okay. If a person's parents have a history of doing drugs. That can affect the child, the, the children they have in the future. Now, do they think about that at the time? Hell no. They're smoking whatever. They're doing whatever pills, popping pills, doing whatever drugs. And I know that my, the person who created me, so-called father slash sperm donor, he has a history of doing cocaine and marijuana and drinking a lot. Not like an alcoholic, but socially he can, he can put it down. <laughs> okay. So my body has some weird things. Is it connected to that? What he's done? I don't know, but I know it doesn't help your children. When you just throw crap in your body, you know, they don't think, you know, maybe I shouldn't abuse my body. One day I want to have kids and I don't want my kids jacked up. <laughs> okay. They've already got some elements stacked against them with genetics, you know? Um, so yeah. Uh, the brother that was the Hellraiser, he was born with a hole in his heart. So, is that connected to him? You know, the father doing drugs? I don't know, but it damn sure is not going to help your kids be healthy. Okay? And when you're young and you're a preteen or a teenager, you, you know, you throw caution to the wind, your early twenties, you throw caution to the wind, but the shit that you put in your body can definitely impact your children. I don't know if that's what happened to the brother or happened to me, but I just had some weird ass things and I don't remember exactly what it is, but there's something in my abdomen that is one of my, part of my organ is attached to my abdominal wall or something. I don't remember exactly what my doctor told me, but she said, I don't repair those. You would have to talk to a, a, a doctor who works on that. I can't remember what it was, but something is attached to my abdominal wall. That's not supposed to be. It doesn't cause me any problems right now. It, you know, I don't mess with anything until it causes issues. And I just don't want to mess with it. But I've got weird, funky ass things with my body, weird, weird stuff. That's just doesn't make any sense. So like I said, it could be genetic and it could also be, you know, people put crap in their bodies and that can have an effect on your future children. You got to think before you do, you know, I mean, you should be putting toxic, you know, toxic crap in your body in the first place. Really? Let's just use some sense, common sense. But yeah, my body's done weird ass shit. And so I've had the um, um, tumor, the tumors that were in my right ear are gone. But the tumors in my left were a problem. So she basically, she froze them before and they were being stubborn, holding on to me for dear life. So today she numbed the bigger one and she cut it off. You and no, you don't feel it. They numb it pretty good. And then there were a couple other little ones and she went ahead and numbed those and she cauterized them. She cauterized them. Now the big one, she didn't cauterize, she cut. So hopefully it won't come back, but it didn't feel great. I mean, 
you know, there's a pinch of the needle going in there. It's just a pinch. It's, I mean, it's, it's probably a super fine needle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and if you do feel the cauterization, it, it feels something other than warmth. It starts to hurt. Then they will give you some more numbing, um, stuff. It's not a great thing, but it's survivable. It's not gonna make you cry or anything like that. Unless you just have a tiny, you know, uh, patience for, um, a paid tolerance, I should say. Oh, so yeah. So I had to have those cauterized today. Fun, fun. Not really. And then, and then, and then the big one, when they cut it off, honey, it wouldn't stop bleeding. That's the reason she put cotton in there and she put the, the bandage on. It would not stop bleeding. It just kept, and they put stuff on it to slow the, it's a, some kind of uh, medicine to slow the ble uh, bleeding. I can't talk. Slow the bleeding down and it still kept going. So she said, if it bleeds when you get home, just, you know, put cotton in there. So yeah, fun, fun. I'll tell you, so exciting. Yeah, be careful what you put in your body. You could be messing up your kids. Because, I mean, obviously your body making tumors isn't normal. And like I said, I'm just throwing throwing that idea out there. So, there were, I might tell Williams, there was um, some military guys while they were in the Marines and they were exposed to chemicals like possibly exposed to agent orange and some other and they're they're the met the government doctors said this isn't going to impact your children you'll be fine but it's probably a better idea if you don't have children now hold it 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 you said it's not going to impact the kids <gasps> excuse me i'm tired it's not going to impact kids, but it's probably a good idea to not have them. Are you listening to yourself? So, I don't know. That's kind of weird. And one couple, they had a daughter because people don't listen. And the daughter was born with one arm. Didn't a doctor tell you you probably shouldn't have kids? People don't listen. They don't. And so the kids suffer. So anyway, so yeah, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. I don't know what my malfunction is. I just couldn't sleep. But anyway, y'all be good. And um, if you ever have to have that done, removed, what they'll do if they don't, if they see growths anywhere on your body, they're going to do, um, an autopsy or, I mean, after you're dead, they'll do an autopsy, but while you're alive, they're not God, my brain is oatmeal today. Um, it's oatmeal every day, but today is worse than usual. Anyway, um, they'll do a biopsy. Okay. And they'll tell the doctor, you know, if it's, hopefully it's benign, which is non-cancerous and malignant is cancerous. Okay. So that's what they'll do if they don't know what it is. They may think it's initially skin tags, but once they do a biopsy, they'll know for sure. And then they know what to do to get rid of them. If you have, and it don't have to be in your ears. It could be anywhere on your body. You know, so fun procedures. I'll tell you, woohoo. <laughs> Not fun at all. And then when I got up and they were done, right, I stood up and I was kind of wobbling because they're messing with your ear and which messes with your balance and the assistant or the nurse, I'm not sure who she is. She was like, if you feel dizzy, I want you to sit down. I said, I'm okay. I'm serious. I'm serious. I said, why, why do I feel kind of loopy? She said, well, because you're because of anxiety 
And also because we are working inside your ear, which of course impacts your balance. So I was a little wobbly initially, but then I was okay. I just walked slowly when I left and I was just, you know, I was just careful. So anyway, you guys take care. Much love. Bye.